me something true. Something true about you. What do you want to know? Tell me about the first fish you ever caught. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on! No, you hate fishing. Tell me anyway. And then, stillness, silence, and then suddenly, just on the far beaches, a single lapwing sedge, a tiny fly lit by sunlight, dipping over the near water. And I blink, and when I open my eyes, there's an explosion, a big fat trout black eye, tongue like a piece of blackboard chocolate, clears the water by three feet, and snaps its jaws on the ball fly, and it's gone. <laughs> just a ripple, and silence. And my heart caves. My hands shake, both beats in my balls and shaking. I fall to my knees and I cut off my fly. And I tie on the closest thing I can find to a lap wing, a single double reef knot. Shaking knot, school voice knot. And when I look up, the river is a mere. And I can't see anything but upside down trees and back to front sky. But just then, a huge chapel of cloud pushed overhead. And there it was. Slow zigzag. Three feet under the surface, thirty feet away, just out of reach of my world red class. So, quiet as I could, I wade into the plasma water on this plane, and drops a line. And my first cast lands about three feet short. My next cast lands two yards upstream of the last rise. And it drifts over the black stones. And wham! The fish explodes out of the water and rips my fly six feet down to the long pool, and I've lost it. And I go slack. But then, then, my rod jerks in my hand like it's being pulled down by a 50 pound weight and the trout soars and flips out of the water. And I have it. I've hooked this wild trout and it's in down about 50 yards of line and my heart is beating in my cheeks and my knees are thumping like dramatic drills. But I pay off the line, I keep the tension but not too tight. And each time the line slackens, I'm reeling in. And I put it in out of the water and into the net and onto the stones and on the bank and there it is dropping. Brown, silver, orange, like a bar of precious metal, like God's tongue, and I, I can't move, I just I stare at it. And I know, I know I've got to kill it, and I've got to take my priest, my truncheon, and smack its brains to eternity, but I can't. I just kneel there, panting, watching it pant. Both of us fighting for air, 30 seconds a minute, and it's my breathing slow, so is it's intended to go completely still. I reach my hands forward and I pull it out of the net and it's floppy in my hands and I hold it up to the light. And I close my eyes and when I open my eyes, it's gone. Gone? I didn't even feel it flip, I didn't even feel it leave my hands, but I must have found this last gram of life because all I felt was a shadow. Before my eyelids, all I heard was a splash of its back. And the river, alive, swimming, still alive, a miracle. I crawled down the bank, I searched in the river. All I could see down there was a small seven-year-old boy staring up at me, looking absolutely terrified. I crawled back up alone, exhausted, and I sat. My uncle came up and he asked me what was wrong, and I cried. I don't know why. It's not because I'd lost my fish, it's because I, I'd seen something. Something I never knew was there. A force? Spirit, I felt it shudder and buckle in my seven-year-old hands and it thrilled me and it scared the life out of me. And who knows why I was crying, it was the only thing I could think to do, but I never, ever forgot that feeling. And you try, you try to describe it, but you can't, you can't describe it. 
But I was there and I felt it. My uncle said, chin up. We'll face it again another day. We came back here, we had sausages. And the next day, I went back down to the river. Took off all my clothes and I dived in the water and I searched for the fish. And I didn't find it. But I surfaced, I was holding something. Something else. What was it? I still have it. Where? Next door. On the bed. Hat box, a stack of old feathers wrapped in a green handkerchief. Go and get them. Why? I don't want you to see it. I want to show it to you. Go! Promise me it's not. It's not what? Not a ring. What? Oh no. No, no, it's not a ring. Oh, that's so stupid, but incredibly. Oh. It's not a ring. Honestly? Relax, it's not a ring. Is it a gun? Because I'd like to shoot myself right now. No, it's not a gun, it is not a ring, it is something else. What is it? It's under the bed. I'm scared. Trust me. 